Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Jakara. And today's video is gonna be the final installment of my laundry room slash utility room slash greenhouse slash boot room makeover. <laughs> this is part three. And so if you haven't seen part one or two, I will link them somewhere in the cards above so you can catch up. But this is the final part and uh, let's get started. <laughs> So I had this bench, this little ottoman here, and it has storage underneath here. I just had some random stuff in there. I'm gonna use this as the bench seat for when we walk in the door, sit down, put on our shoes, or take off our shoes, <laughs> however the, whatever the case may be. But um, I'm gonna turn my attention to the underside of these shelves. I'm gonna do these shelves later but um, I'm gonna put the wallpaper on and then I'm gonna raise the seat up just a little bit more. Um, Cause a little, right now it's a little too low. So I'm gonna build the box for it to sit on and then um, raise it up. But first let's put the wallpaper on the wall. <laughs> Tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. I'd rather spend my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive. If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight So I figured since I'm doing wallpaper I'm going to leave this these shelves open But I want to see something nice over here Something pretty So I'm going to put this this wallpaper that I have here Over here as well I might as well I got some extra So let's do that all right so i got it in there even though i had to kind of piecemeal it a little bit on this side but it looks nice I think they coordinate pretty good together. So I'm going to paint the inside of this white and then I'm going to put these shelves back on, but I'm going to put some reinforcements under them so they won't sag a little bit. So I'll do that now and then I'll come back when I'm done. The beginning, I just didn't know that you're an enemy I held too close. Now I know because you did everything to prove me wrong. You were not the guy I thought Now I'm be beating you at your own Yeah If I got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive Alive But you didn't know me All you wanted was a game Alright, that's This is what this section is looking like right now um, I'm just reusing the old shelves that were there. Eventually, I will replace these with actually real, real wooden shelves like I have here um, and paint them white, get them looking really nice. They look kind of dingy next to the bright white paint, but for now, this is good enough. <laughs> I'm not stressing about it. You know, it's it's good enough. Yes, it does look a little off with the off-white versus the bright white, but, you know, we'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start uh, working on a different part of the room, and then I'll dress this part of the room. All right, so I'm turning my attention to this side of the room. I have put up the wallpaper, 
and I put up this door. Now I got these door, this door and this door. Let me move this um, thing here. Uh, this door I got from Ikea, both of these doors. Uh, they were in the as is section for 10 and 15. I think, yeah, this one's 15, the other one was 10. Um, they were just, you know, kind of single doors in the as is section and i figured i want this part of the room to be covered storage so please excuse my dog he really wants to be the star of the show here <laughs> anyway um so i thought oh how can i cover cover this without like adding cabinets or whatever and i really at this time i don't have time or the resources to cover these wire shelves right now eventually I will replace them with like wooden shelves like I said for the other side of the room but yeah I wanted to cover it so I figured these doors would do it unfortunately um, they are not quite wide enough they're almost wide enough but there's like a, a gap where you see this two by four here there's a gap there or there's space and also when I put the door this door on this side I had the wall to attach the hinge to on this side I don't have a wall to attach a, a hinge so I'm gonna have to add this two by four here and then add another piece of wood to attach this door and um, then I'm also gonna put some more um, like a face framing type piece of wood there. So you'll you'll have to watch the process. Um, I've obviously never done this before, and this is all just from my imagination. I'm hoping this works. So here we go. Oh, and this door was longer than the other one, so I'm gonna have to cut this one and like put it back together again. It's it's gonna be interesting, it really is. But just wait and see, I'ma do it, I'ma figure it out. <laughs> cut the door down but uh, I still have to um, you won't see this part of the door it'll be at the top but this there's a cross piece that goes if you see here there's a cross piece here and then there's one at the top so I have to add that cross piece back to this door oh, now my cat wants to talk Okay, kitty. Anyway, so this, I cut this out, the piece that I cut off, and then I'm gonna add that down in there. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> uh, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here, but I'll come back when I get it to work. Want me to set you free. my daughter I got these up these doors up 
There is a little bit of a gap there in the middle, so I'm going to put a piece of um, two by four in between uh, and like anchor it to the top and along the shelves and then the doors will close onto the two by four and fill up that gap. Kind of like over here where there's like the face frame and everything. It'll be, it'll act like the face frame on this side. So it's coming together. Does it look perfect? No. Am I looking for perfection? No. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It works for what I need it for right now. And yeah, so I'm going to finish that up and then I will start working on the bench. All right, so I'm waiting for the rest of my tile before I can come, you know, really put this down. But I have to make a platform for this bench to sit on because I'm going to take the legs off of it and just have it sit on the platform. So I have to build that. I have this two by 10 here and I'm gonna try and do the, a platform with. So I'm gonna get to making that now. All right, so I built the base for it. I might put some reinforcement underneath it. I'm gonna show you. I just, it's just a box, <laughs> it's just a box. I took the legs off here and I just, I'm just gonna sit it on top of the box, but I'm gonna paint this box white either white or gray, I can't decide yet. And, uh, but I'm not going to permanently place it here yet because I still have to finish the floor underneath. See, as you can see, there's little parts there, but it's looking good. It's at the right height, perfect seating height. And I can use this uh, to put things in if I want to, like there. So yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna finish up this area and then I'll be back. Since I painted the box here gray, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over here to this kind of step into the room. It, it, this used to be a, a, a open back porch, like a three season back porch. And so this is the back of the house, as you can see by the brick here. So this thing has gotten all grungy and gross. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this as well. And uh, hopefully that would make a big difference in how it looks. So let me do that. I started to put down the floor, the floor tiles. Um, the only problem is it reads kind of like a blue gray instead of a warm gray. It's like a cool gray. And all the, like, the cabinet there is a, is a warm gray. And this is, it looks warm on the camera, but it really is like a almost blue. It looks icy, which, I don't know. I think over time, it probably will be less blue. Maybe, you know, with walking on it and dirt and stuff like that. <laughs> Even though I'll clean it and everything. But it'll probably change over time. But right now, it's looking mighty blue. I don't know. It's going to have to grow on me, but I'm going to continue to finish the floor. I'm going to fix this area here that we talked about in the last video where it's like rotten floorboard. And uh, so the next time you'll see when I snap my fingers, it will be done in three, two.
got the bench seat down now i'm going to frame this wallpaper with some trim and make it like um like a picture frame um just to kind of finish off the rough edges on the side and stuff so i'm gonna do that now and then i'll be back when i am finished I, so you want me to set you free So I got it in there. I just have to caulk the gaps in the um, in the corners and paint over the gap uh, over the caulk, and I think I'll be done. I bought these uh, coat hooks uh, to go in here. So that when we come in, we can put our hang up our coats here. So I'm going to go ahead and add those to this area. And we're almost done. <laughs> All right, I got them up there. So I just have a few more finishing touches to finish the room. And we can call it a day, call it a, a makeover. Hi. I bought uh, these Ikea containers because I, I wanted to take things out of these baskets. I didn't want to be able to see the items in here. Um, these are pretty inexpensive at uh, Ikea and they have a lid so they cover everything up and I just transferred whatever was in this basket into here and um, this, this one just has like my pets like medicine and um, flea medicine and toothpaste, <laughs> toothbrushes and, you know, diapers for my little dog. Um, so yeah, I I didn't want to see all that, especially against the pretty wallpaper here. So <laughs> I just wanted to cover it up with these boxes and they fit perfectly on the shelf. And so I have another one um, that's filled with Like, I have these doggy pads, uh, pee pads, and then, like, my dog's clothes, <laughs> their shoes. <laughs> For the, when it's, like, muddy and rainy, they hate wearing these things, but, you know, I make them wear it anyway. <laughs> so, at Ikea, I also bought some of these spray bottles. I just like the look of them better than, like, this. <laughs> this is, like, a pet spray uh, and then this is like an, a stain and odor remover for pets. So I'm going to transfer these into this type of spray bottle and put it on the shelf. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you been, where you hide. Late night drinking, wishful thinking. What if you were? Feel. I don't want to mess up your night I don't want to put up a fight I don't want to trouble you, babe But I gotta say I don't want to waste no more time Trying to shake the feelings inside Finally I made up my mind Can't go one more day without you Empty 
hearts Typical me reminiscing A memory doesn't heal Open scars Late night drinking Wishful thinking What if you were here Morning and waking Heart still aching Something about the way you make me feel Let's go back and take a look at how this room started out. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this makeover. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know down below what was your favorite part of the makeover. My favorite part is the wallpaper. I truly love it. Um, I wasn't sure about it initially, but I think it turned out great. And it added that pop of color that I needed to this all white and gray room. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to come back for more DIYs, I also do styling videos and travel vlogs, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. I hope you have a happy new year, happy 2024, and I will see you in 2024.